But so we're in Turkey, and we see this woman named Macrina the Younger, and we have to call her the Younger because there was a Macrina the Elder, and that was her grandmother. But Macrina ended up founding, so establishing a community for monastic life in her family home in Pontus. And in that family home, Macrina ended up attracting both men and women to the religious life. And so this was a mixed community. And Macrina was the head of this community and ended up creating her own religious rule for governing the life that was there. And actually, there was... a really terrible famine that had swept through Pontus at this time. And actually, this community that Macrina established ended up becoming a kind of site for people to come to receive food that probably would have starved to death otherwise. But Macrina supported the surrounding region during this time of famine. So just a really extraordinary woman. And what I think is really remarkable about Macrina is that a number of her brothers were also dedicated to the religious life. And the most famous are Basil the Great, who ended up becoming the Bishop of Caesarea, and then also Gregory of Nyssa, who was the Bishop of Nyssa. And there seems to have been an especially close relationship between Gregory and Macrina, because Gregory ended up writing a life of his sister after she died. And so that's how we know so much about Macrina's life, is because of this life that her brother wrote about her. And the other extraordinary thing is that Gregory tells us that on her deathbed, he and Macrina had a conversation about the nature of the soul and also the nature of the resurrection. And Gregory tells us that Macrina taught him many things about both subjects, and he wrote those things down. And so we have this treatise on the nature of the soul and also on the nature of the resurrection that is, I think, Macrina's teachings, and, and Gregory preserved those for us. And so here, again, we see that the religious life is very much a family affair, so much so that it's actually based in their home. 